Okay. I heard something yesterday and I feel like I want to speak about it because I've been thinking about it since I heard it. Somebody said on the internet, I was watching something and somebody said, how do you look without a mirror? And I thought that is such a, that is something great to think about. How do you look without a mirror? Meaning, how does everybody else see you? Rather than how do you see yourself? Because people stand there and they look in the mirror and they see this person looking back at them, which is them. And they might change their face, they might do their hair, you know, all the things that they want to do, the way they dress, all that kind of stuff. And that's how they see themselves. And they walk out with this image in their head that they've just seen in the mirror. Do you know what I mean? Now, if you if you erase all of that, erase your own perception of yourself, then how do you look to others? Because that's the true you, really. That's the you that is walking around this world, working within this environment. That's the perspective. The perspective, there are more perspectives of you than there are perspectives of yourself. There's only one perspective of yourself. But you might come across a hundred people a day that all see you in a different way than you see yourself because of how you act, how you speak, how you carry yourself, your body language. All of these things make people see you in a certain way. Now let's talk about Formula One. Some people only see what they see in the mirror let's use let's use max verstappen for an example and lewis hamilton for another example because this seem like polar opposites lewis hamilton looks like the type of person that would live life by this how do you look without a mirror even though you definitely know that lewis hamilton spent time in that mirror but it doesn't seem as important the way he carries himself the way he comes across to other people unless you're a hater which means you're just going to hate on no matter what no matter what Hamilton does you're going to hate on him because you've already got this perception you've already got this belief system that you hate this guy you don't like this guy whatever he does you're going to find fault but if he was true and honest and just looked at it on paper without this preconcepted is that the right preconcepted opinion on someone maybe I'm using them words in the wrong place so what if I am you know what I'm talking about but on the other side of that the polar opposite nearly you got Max Verstappen who probably might not it looks like he don't spend that much time in the mirror but he also don't spend no time thinking about how I look without a mirror you can tell unless he's playing the villain it's all this Formula 1 thing is nonsense and these guys are just characters actors doing this on purpose max is the bad guy lewis is a good guy lewis got ripped off by the bad guy the bad guy continues being the bad guy got no heart no feeling no emotion just swearing on the radio bad language and all that kind of stuff he's the bad guy and lewis is the good guy so what happens the bad the good guy gets down in the dumps the bad guy reigns supreme but what always happens in the end, man? Yeah, if the bad guy don't, if the good guy don't die, then he always comes back to win. Always, always a happy ending, unless he dies. So we know for a fact, right? This Red Bull thing, let, let's switch this a little bit because we can go into the fact that the way Red Bull do things is always going to end up falling. They cannot keep this up. They can't, they never, it never ever happens the Führer always tumbles always always every single time the Führer the bad guy always has to get his comeuppance in the end so Red Bull are not gonna continue and reign supreme there is they're gonna fall from grace probably not now I know they had a bad race in the last race so they're probably gonna come back but in the end they're definitely going to topple. They're definitely going to tumble. 
definitely it's going to happen it has to happen it's already written every single movie you've ever watched you've seen it a million times before so we all know the way Red Bull do things it's not sustainable they're either going to end in a scandal or they're just going to fall from grace and be no more and they're not going to fall from grace like Lewis Hamilton did because he's never fell from grace he's just not winning anymore but he's always kept himself acting right he's always thought to himself how do I look without a mirror no point standing in the mirror looking all nice wearing all your funky outfits having your hair all done nice and all that kind of stuff no point in looking nice in the mirror then when you walk out you're seen in a complete different way and you end up being deluded like Max Verstappen if he ain't deluded he's very close to it the way he reacts and the way he responds and the things that he says you can tell he doesn't know what the public thinks the majority of the public because yeah he's got some fans he's got a lot of fans but really really if we're all honest about it we know we know we see through all of this everybody does even even because I was a, I was a Lewis Hamilton fan from day one but there's been periods in his career where it's really frustrated me and I've really thought oh why are you doing that Lewis like I remember before Abu Dhabi happened you know Abu Dhabi 2021 when Lewis Hamilton was ripped off for getting his eighth world title making him the now champion of all time the all time world champion the champion of all time and if you want to talk about this get yourself over to fixed f1 xed get yourself subscribed to that channel and support the cause because he's talking about abu dhabi and he wants to take this to court he wants to find he wants to get justice for what happened because it was a, it's a terrible thing it's a sporting scandal the biggest one i've ever seen man so get yourself over to f1 xed subscribe to that channel and do you know what i mean support the cause as they say but anyway back to this i remember lewis hamilton posting some i think it was, i don't know who it was it might have been kendrick lamar or something like that some song anyway and it was on his instagram doing dancing away and i think the song had nigger in it or something and i was just thinking why lewis you're the only black guy in this whole sport why do you want to portray that side of black people the commercialized side the street version of black it's not actually black it's just like an urban version don't portray that and make everybody think oh yeah all black guys are the same that's what i actually thought lewis hamilton used to do some things and i thought why why don't do that because it's so it's too stereotypical do you know what i mean and i'd pick fault with lewis hamilton i've even messaged him <laughs> When he did that, I actually messaged him on Instagram. I never message people on Instagram. I don't really comment and stuff. But I did on this. I commented on it. I know he probably wouldn't, wasn't going to read it. You just get lost in the thousand messages that are there. But I just felt like I had to say something. Like, don't be so typically black. Don't do what people expect just because you're black. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's hard like that, you know? It's hard like that like black people like chicken sometimes if i'm in the wrong if the right place wrong place if i'm in a certain place i feel like i can't eat a certain food because it's too stereotypical oh yeah i love the chicken oh yeah of course you will me <laughs> i already knew you was gonna get the chicken before you got the chicken because <laughs> you're black you're gonna get chicken right i don't like that kind of stuff buying buying bananas in the supermarket it's a task <laughs> every single time I buy bananas because right, I remember I remember being in m and and the bananas were on offer and I got two big bags of bananas right and the, the paranoia that I felt every single person I walked past I hid them in my, in my basket I put things on top of them so people couldn't see that I was buying two bags of bananas I went to the self checkout so the person on the checkout didn't didn't see me buying two big bags of bananas just because i'm buying bananas and i didn't want to give nobody else the satisfaction of seeing a brown skinned guy buying two bags of bananas so there was a task for me <laughs> i'll always remember it it 
felt like I was stealing. I was trying to sneak these bananas through, hiding them in my basket, going to the self-checkout. It was like I was trying to steal something. But all I was trying to do is buy some bananas without giving a satisfaction to somebody that might have a little bit of a streak of racism in them and thinking, ah, oh, look at that black guy buying two big bags of bananas because they were 25p per bag. I wasn't going to not buy them. Perfect for making like frozen ice cream, perfect in smoothies and stuff and perfect just to peel and eat because they were splendidly ripe. They had the yellow bananas with the brown dots on. Perfect time to eat them. Maximum nutrition. In fact, we should speak about nutrition. I think I'm pretty good knowing what's what. I'm not any kind of terian, vegetarian, uh, vegan, none of that. But I pay attention to all of it. Like if I eat meat, I eat one meat per day. And I don't want to eat meat every day. Because I once heard a comedian say, why does something have to die every single day just in order for me to be alive? ever since then I heard that it was a joke but ever since then I heard that and it stayed with me and I thought that's, that's right why does something have to die every single day just in order for me to be alive so I stopped eating meat every day and if I do eat meat I try to eat one meat per day not I do I try not to eat bacon anyway but not bacon or sausage in the morning and then chicken in the afternoon and then maybe a bit of beef at night so you've had pig, chicken and cow all in one day. It's madness. But loads of people are doing that. Loads of people are doing that. And you know, one thing, let's this side note. Once I was cooking something, frying some chicken with the like the KFC kind of thing, and you have to dip chicken into egg before you put it in the breadcrumbs. And I thought, this is crazy. I am dipping chicken in egg. How savage is that? That is savage, right? Let me tell you something about eggs. Let me put you off eggs. Right? Eggs is a chicken's period. What? An egg is an unfertilized chicken. Egg. Unfertilized. Because if it was fertilized, then it would have a chicken inside it. But it's unfertilized. It's an egg that the chicken is getting rid of because it's unfertilized, which means an egg is a chicken's period, man. And people crack it and fry that up and eat it. <laughs> that is disgusting. No matter how nice eggs are, that is disgusting. It put me off them for a while. For a few years, I stopped eating eggs. But I, I, do, I eat them now. But for a few years, I stopped eating eggs for the simple fact that an egg is a chicken's period. And I thought, that is gross, man. I ain't eating that. So I stopped. <laughs> but anyway, back to the point. And the point was, how do you look without a mirror? It's a great, it's a great thing to think about. Well, for me, it's a great thing to think about. How do you look without a mirror? Because that's the most important thing, man. That's the most important thing. Because then you can really learn how to be someone like Lewis Hamilton. A stand-up guy, man. It's very hard to find reasons to, to knock this guy. There's going to be stuff there, but you have to be petty. You have to be petty. But Max Verstappen, there's flaws everywhere and he seems like he can't even see them. Because he's looking at his reflection in the mirror and all he's seeing is himself looking back. Thumbs up. Keep going, man. Keep doing what you're doing, Max. Keep doing what you're doing. Top class guy. Then he's got his hype men around him telling him the same thing. Like, it's no wonder this guy's living in a, in a deluded world, man. I, I truly think he is. Unless, again, it's all made up. All could be made up and they all know what they're doing. Max knows everything. Lewis knows everything. Or Max could just be a cyborg sent to stop Lewis Hamilton reigning supreme. Because he does look like a robot. Doesn't look real. He has no emotion. And he doesn't look real. So Max could just be a cyborg for all we know. And you can think that's daft because I've, I've seen these things, man. I've seen these robots in China. They look real, man. They look so real. They look more real than Max Verstappen. Let's put it that way. Max Verstappen is just the F1 Terminator sent to stop Lewis Hamilton domination. 
Right, and that's 15 minutes, so I'm out of here.